Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I've got some mail to open. I've been waiting for this, I'm so excited. I actually pre-ordered this and I wasn't expecting it for another month um, because I ordered it and they said, oh yeah, it's coming out like on such and such a date. And I was like, oh, that's fine, that's fine, in September. And then they were like, oh no, no, you know, it's been delayed. And I was like, oh no, you know. And then a few days ago, I got notification that it had shipped. So I was like, oh, okay, that's that's really awesome, you know. So I don't want to turn the box over because it's got my address on it. Oh, there's a pull tab. Okay, hang on. That's a one way to do it. I didn't know it did that. The trouble is they stuck the sides down, so I can't. Ah. All right, are you ready? Now, if you are a visitor to my channel and you watch the Today in My Bujo series, you will know that I have the tarot deck. I love this. This is my favourite deck. This one. I love it. It's nice to read. The pictures are amazing. Okay. This is the oracle deck to companion it, I suppose you could say. I pre-ordered this as soon as I heard it was available for pre-order. So, you know, I'm really, really excited to get this. I'm so nervous to open it because I damage it. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'd love to know if there's a way to find out if this was like a first edition or something. Everyday Witch Oracle 2019. Deborah Blake and Elizabeth Alba. Uh, and then it's got a, it's not a sticker, it's part of the box. And it says facebook.com, Llewellyn Books, and then their Twitter and their Instagram. Improve your craft with magic cats, pointed hats and spell work galore. Combining charming images of witches in their everyday lives with brilliant wisdom that can be used for divination, magic and calls to action. Everyday Witch Oracle makes it easy to find the answers and inspiration you need. Full of whimsy but serious enough to help you through the toughest times, this deck and its full colour companion book is the perfect choice for witches and readers of all skill levels. The box is really nice. It feels really nice in the hands. If this deck is as nice as this, the tarot deck, it's going to be awesome to use. I really, really hope it's got the same back. Right. It doesn't. It has a slightly different back. I'm a little disappointed in that. I was really hoping it was going to have the same back. You know? Because then I just thought it would go together perfectly. That's a shame. Never mind. So we have Connect with Gaia, Hibernation and Regeneration, Meditation to Dig Deep, Ground and Center, Earth Magic, Plant the Seeds, Strength and Resilience, Affirmation for growth, prosperity and abundance, seasonal harvest, imagine and envision, listening to wisdom, meditation for clarity, gratitude and thanks, air magic, learn from life prayers and wishes affirmation for acceptance speak your mind transformation and change sun and stars accept love meditation for creativity 
inspiration and courage. Fire magic. Give in to passion. Follow your dreams. Affirmation for healing the heart. Give love. Joy and delight. Healing waters. Cleansing, cleansing body and spirit. Meditation for peace and serenity. Change and progress. Water magic. Make a move. Go with the flow. Affirmation for positive change. Tears of joy and sadness. Rebirth and reinvention. Nice cards. I like them. They don't feel sticky. They feel like they would shuffle just as well as the tarot deck does. And they do. They're just big enough that I can do it <laughs> almost sideways. Um, I mean, I've got a couple of decks over there that I love but they are huge um, and I do have trouble shuffling them because they're also slightly sticky these shuffle really really nice um, the only thing is it's a bit difficult you'd have to remember ginger cat up for example I really really wish she'd gone with the same back cover Also by Deborah Blake, The Little Book of Cat Magic, A Year and a Day of Everyday Witchcraft. Guide to the Everyday Witch Tarot. Everyday Witchcraft, the witch's brew. Oh, she's done quite a few. Hmm, might have to look out for them. A bit about the author. And a bit about um, the artist. First edition, first printing. Oh, that is brilliant news. Love you too, baby. I've got a first edition, first printing version of the Oracle. I am chuffed to pieces about that. 40 colour cards and this perfect bound book. Tells you a bit on how to use the deck, how the cards are divided, how the cards progress, simple spread, sample spread, sorry and about the cards themselves. So there's quite a bit in here to read, you know? The cards are divided into suits of 10 and each suit is based on an element, earth, air, fire, or water. Numbers each have a general theme as well, but neither of those things has to impact your use of the cards unless you choose to focus on them that way. I'm guessing that that's a water card then. We purposely set out to make the oracle cards that had multiple applications so they offered a little something for everyone. Unlike tarot where the image on the card means something fairly specific. See I actually don't find that with this. I find that dependent on if I'm reading for myself what's going on the meaning can change to sort of reflect that you know. Um, we purposely set out to make the oracle cards up, uh, so they offered something. Uh, da, 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 da. Unlike the tarot, where the image on the card means something specific, these cards are far simpler. Use them for inspiration, divination, or magic as the mood strikes you. Let them speak to your inner wisdom and resonate with your soul. Or, you know, just pull one every day for fun. It's completely up to you. There's no wrong way to use it. It's just a little bit about the best way to use it, what to do when you want to use it. So you've got earth, air, fire and water. Earth is grounding and practical action. Air is thought and communication. Fire is creativity and passion. And water is change and movement. Yeah. 
Right, so each card, for example, um, the Connect with Gaia one, uh, it says the Earth is our mother and if we are not in tune with her, the rest of our lives will be out of balance too. The modern world can take us far away from our roots as living, breathing people on a living, breathing planet. Take a few moments to connect with Gaia, whether as the Earth goddess, the ground beneath you or some growing thing. Then it says action as to really what you should do. So you go outside, you put your feet on the ground, you raise your hands to the sky, feel the connection from above and below. Pull in energy from the earth and send back a little of your own in gratitude for her gifts. If you can't go outside, plant your feet firmly on the floor wherever you are and feel the energy coming up through the layers between you and the soil that lies beneath you. No matter how high up you are, the earth is down there somewhere. Divination. Modern life is full of distractions. Make sure you remember to take time to tune into the earth. No matter what else is going on around you, this card reminds you to stay in touch with what is truly important, both spiritually and practically, especially those things that support the rest of your efforts. And the magic element of it is sit comfortably or stand in front of your altar, holding on to the crystal. Excuse me, I'm running on less than three hours sleep, I'm exhausted. Sit comfortably or stand in front of your altar, holding on to the crystal or stone of your choice. Light a candle and concentrate on the stone, sending your awareness deep inside. Try to connect with the energy of the stone. Does it feel warm, strong or comforting? Does this stone have something to offer you that some other stone might not? Does it feel as though it could boost your magical work for prosperity, healing, peace or any other particular goal? So each card has a meaning. A divination and a um, an action, a divination and a magic. And then a little bit about each card. It's just going to it's just going to be a question of figuring out where in the book they all lie. So that's earth. So I suspect, right, so you've got air. Fire, that means water's at the back, typically. There's a way in it. Change in movement, and the affirmation is the last card. So, There's no numbers on them. That's that, that I find a little bit. Um, it's, it's slightly hard. At least I can't see a number on them. So, for example, this one says like change can be scary. Um, direct your energy towards making any shifts are positive. Ask the power of the water to move you in the right direction and put out your attention into the world as clearly as precisely as you can. Yeah. So I think this is gonna, I actually think this is gonna take a little bit more study than the tarot. I find the tarot version quite intuitive. I'm not too sure about this. There is a little bit in the back of here about how to use the deck with the everyday witch tarot. Naturally, it can be used completely on its own, but some people want to occasionally combine its use with its companion deck, the tarot. There are a couple of different ways you can do that. Do a regular tarot spread, then use a card from the oracle deck to clarify the reading. Pull one deck card from each deck and see if there is a unifying message when you put them together. Pull one to three cards from each deck every day for a week or a month and write down which cards you are getting. See if there are any consistent repeats or, or ways in which the message from one deck supports or reinforces the message from the other in which case you should probably be paying attention to whatever message they're trying to give you uh, if you're trying to work on some particular goal you can pull a card or cards from each deck that symbolize that goal and place them on your altar or someplace else where you will see them regularly uh, use a card or cards from each deck together to empower your magical work and any other way that suits you so that's quite cool that's quite cool i think i personally think that this is not as intuitive as the tarot deck okay um some of them maybe but yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna have a read through and a and a 
see what I can come up with on these. But yeah, so that's the um, that's the Oracle deck anyway, along with the book. It's in a lovely, lovely little box. There's no wasted space. That's it. Fab. And that's a size comparison with the tarot, just so you've got an idea. Uh, it's possibly on par with... Oh, got bloody lid off again now. Size-wise, if you've got either deck. It's slightly narrower than the Everyday Enchantment cards. Ever so slightly, but I find that's just enough. And the other big deck I have is Nature's Whispers Oracle. And it is, again, just ever so slightly smaller. Now, both of those other decks I find quite hard to shuffle. They're a bit sticky as well. They don't shuffle as nicely. Um, but they are chunkier decks. You know, um, oh, that's with the book, sorry. <laughs> you know, um, that is a lot chunkier, for example, than this is. And this is an Oracle deck as well. So, you know, this just seems easier to use than this does, but that just might be me. So, your mileage may vary, as they say. I will, I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. It's lovely. I'm so chuffed I got a first edition as well. First printing of a first edition. Awesome. I mean, I suspect there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in the first edition of First Print End, but I don't care because I got one. Haha. <laughs> so, yeah. There you go. The only thing I find is a bit of a bummer is that the guide to the Everyday Witch Tarot is flaming huge in comparison. You know? I would have loved to have had a little, a little booklet like that one to go with, but I, I realised it would have had to have been quite thick this is quite big and if you if you're someone who's new to tarot and you want to study this book quite a lot it's you know it's about a five size so it's, it's quite large in comparison to everything else that goes with it so there you go right i hope you found that informative um please feel free to give me a thumbs up if you did um we'd love it if you left a comment as well i'd really really appreciate that if you click the book down in this corner here you'll be subscribed and that would be awesome. I do review videos occasionally. I do mail haul videos occasionally. And I do a lot of art journaling. I, I tend to do a, a daily vlog most of the time. I missed a couple of days, but here and there. But you know, there's usually a perfectly good reason for that. And I go live once a week. So, you know, if you want to come along and have a chat, that would be absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic afternoon, evening, morning, whatever time of day it is for you. And I will see you next time. Take it easy, guys.